Hi, I'm Ray G4NSJ with yet another video. Another one. This one's interesting. Well, they're all interesting. I'm sure you'll agree or not. Look at that. Aircraft transmitter. American-made aircraft transmitter. Valve. 5.3 to 7 megs. So that is in the aircraft band, isn't it? Because, what is it? 6622 upper side band. You've got, um, is it Gander? Uh, and uh, Shannon, Shannon Air Radio, whatever it is, all that lot. That is the aircraft band. It's also 6.6 .6 megs it covers. Echo Charlie. Oh, shouldn't mention Pirate Radio. Stone the Crows, Echo Charlie. What's that? Never heard of it. <laughs> this would operate quite well on 6.6 .6 megs, wouldn't it? It's AM. Imagine that on 6.6 .6 megs. Like the old days, Echo Charlie, AM. None of this sideband nonsense. <laughs> Anyway, that is rather a nice piece of kit. A couple of 1625 valves. They were more or less equivalent, electrically the same as the 807 valves using, well, 19 sets and loads of stuff. The only difference is these are 12 volt heaters, 12.6, I think. Whereas the 807 was, is it six or is that the other way around? Something like that. 1625 valves there. Um, it's a... It's AM, as far as I'm aware. There's the front of it. I was given this the other day. You've got a... This is probably a Pi network. There's the coil and the two variable capacitors in there. Very nicely built. It's American. Now, it says on it... Where's the lid? Hang on. I took the cover off. It says here, American... Aircraft radio transmitter, frequency 5.3 to 7 megs. This is quite good. You can take the lid off here if you don't take the whole cover off and just change those valves, I suppose, and the same with those. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, goodness me, 10, 11, 12, 13 valves in it, would you believe? Rather nice. What I'm hoping to do with it is a SO239 socket on the back and a an octal socket there, which will be for the power. I don't know, there's a coax socket on the front. I don't know whether that's for a microphone or what that is, it's rather odd. Nothing's labeled, these aren't labeled. Two switches there, a switch there on the side, which is odd. Nothing is labeled and I can't find any information on it. But it's a, a lovely piece of kit, really nicely made. What I'm hoping to do with it, was it 5.3 to 7 megs? Use it on the 7 meg amateur band, the 40 meter amateur band, either on AM or use a, a key, a Morse key with it. That would be nice. It's a transmitter only, not a receiver. But uh, rather interesting piece of kit that. Oh, there was a date on it. Where was it? What did that date say? 1942. 1942, that's going back a bit, isn't it? Actually, that toggle switch on the front there, there, that is connected to the Pi network. I reckon that puts in a tap on the tank coil. That's what that does. Why is nothing labelled? How strange. There's a meter on the front. Doesn't say anything. Just says one to five. No, naught to five. I, I would imagine that meter. Yeah, there's a. That is in the output circuit. I reckon that's aerial current. So you adjust the Pi network here for maximum on meter. I don't know what power it would be. What do you reckon? 25 watts, a couple of 16, 25 valves. Probably 25 watts. Nice bit of kit. I don't know how you change frequency. Is that a crystal? It's probably crystal controlled. I wonder if it's on one frequency. I don't know. I wish there were some labels on the front so you know what uh, controls do what. There's some preset pots here. Can you see that? There's a preset there and a preset there. Valves all very neatly. The B9A and B7G valves in there neatly. How would you change that valve? You can't get that can off. 
That's a thought, isn't it? You can't. How would you? Oh, perhaps you. I don't know. Perhaps you force it, or break the valve in the process. There is the pine network. Hang on, let's see if I can show you that. There we are. There's the tank coil. Then you've got variable capacitor there, and that one there. They're rather nice. And that's that switch. It would have yes, it's a tap on the tank coil. There's a tap there. Look, so you can switch the tap in or out. Rather nice. And the meter on the front, I believe that will read aerial current by the look of it. That's the back of it. What are these? That looks like a stabiliser. That's probably a rectifier. Oh no, it says on the back 28 volts DC supply. Don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know what's in here in this box, in this metal box here. It says on there's a, a label on the front. It says uh, don't adjust the screws inside. <laughs> Some smoothing capacitors there. Little transformer there and there. Now it's going to be AM, isn't it? I wonder whether that's a modulation transformer. There's another, there's two transformers in there. I haven't taken the bottom off yet. There's the bottom cover. Take that off at some stage. RF choke down there. There we are, sort of stop parasitics going on. Nice valve caps, porcelain valve caps on there. This is a, it's a lovely piece of kit, isn't it? There's the front, so that's the, the Pi network, the tank coil tap coax socket why fit a coax socket on an aircraft transmitter you'd think they'd have something better than that two controls here they're pots two controls there and there another switch it's interesting isn't it does anyone know anything about it b7g and b9a valves in 1942 they didn't have them did they i'm sure they didn't it says here Aircraft radio transmitter type CCT 52210, frequency 5.3 to 7 megs, supply 28 volts DC. If the supply is 28 volts DC, there must be a way of getting HT. So is there a vibrator pack in here? I don't know, there must be. I'll tell you what I have got that came with this. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm wondering, I'll have to look at it. I'll have to take the bottom cover off and have a look. But that's not 1942, is it? Uh, Navy Department, Bureau of Ships. What's that? Something Carlson Manufacturing, Rochester, New York. Contact numbers. Date, February the 5th, 1942. Well, that's not 1942, is it? It can't be. It's got to be a lot later than that with these little valves in. But yeah, interesting piece of kit, isn't it? This came with all the bits and pieces I was given. It's a rotary converter or a rotary transformer. And I've just cut my finger on it. Now this, same sort of paint, so it matches, but unfortunately, someone's, there must have been some sort of connection block there. I don't know why that's, I'm going to run this up later. It's, let me tell you what it is. Input 12 volts DC. Now that doesn't match that, that's 28 volts. Output 350 volts DC at 0.18 amps, 180 milliamps. That would be good HT current for this lot, 180 milliamps. The 1625s really want 600 volts on them. Uh, that's what I used to do with the 807s. So, it doesn't really say temperature, what's that temperature rise? 50C, speed 4900, so that's 4900 RPM. Now I will run it up later. I just wondered as this came with that, whether, look, there's blood everywhere now, whether that supplies the HT for this. Because as I said, there's a, octal socket on the back what's that say 5.3 to 7 megs oh something manufacturing is I don't know 
I just wish I could find something, what's that, accepted. Someone's checked it and accepted it. I wish I had the book on it. If you, as I say, if anyone does know anything about that, perhaps you'd let me know. It would be very interesting to find out what it's, what it's all about. Basically, for those of you that don't know, the rotary converter, rotary transformer, is a 12 volt motor, one end, and a, one end of the shaft, uh, and the other end of the shaft is the generator, 350 volts DC. It's uh, sort of one shaft with the, uh, an armature, a commutator both ends, brushes both ends. There are the brush holders there. Take those off, you can get to the carbon brushes. Good old kit, and it weighs a ton. Actually, if you're going to put this in an aircraft, <laughs> it weighs a ton. Here we are, Spurling Capacitor, April 65. That's more like it, April 1965. 10 plus 10 microfarad. Oh, made in England, Plessy. There we are, the Americans bought Plessy capacitors from England. There's a trimmer in that hole. I wonder whether in here is the, the crystal oscillator. Loads of screws. I better not take that off just yet, but I will take the bottom off. This lay, what's it say? Warning. Do not remove this shield. Do not change adjustment of two screws with blue heads. See instruction book. I haven't got the instruction book. Okay, I'll end it here. If anyone knows anything about it, do contact me because I'd love to... It hasn't got a blue head. It must be inside. What I might do is work, take the bottom off, work out the connections and fire it up to see if I get the oscillator running at least, find out where the crystal is, what frequency is on, and uh, any stations, Echo Charlie, this is 4 Alpha, radio check over. <laughs> Don't encourage me. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye for now.